guys are just pretty quiet. <laughs> Supermoto come up here on the look like he was uh just chilling. See if I can't get oh no, there he is. <laughs> right there, yeah. Yeah, just chill on the way down. And yeah, that guy he had um that red bike, it was a, uh, it was my R6, just in, well, red. <laughs> it's pretty cool, he had a, a Scorpion exhaust on it, and sounded all right. But, I mean, well, I can't really say shit because I got the stock exhaust on here, but. Eh, I mean, I, I want to put some stuff on this bike, like, I want to save up the money and get an Acropovich. I know it's like, <laughs> it's really expensive for an exhaust and and I probably, at least not for a while, would be able to unlock the full potential of this bike and really you can only truly unlock the full potential of a, of a bike like this on the track. And I don't know if I'll be taking it to the track until I at least get another bike, so in case I wreck it, you know, I won't feel too bad. But, um... But yeah, I mean, I think, uh, for me personally, I, I like the Akrapovich pipe a lot. I like the style of it, the whole, the hexagonal pipe design. It's got a nice uh, end cap to it. Damn it, that was rough. But... Yeah, this part of the Little to Hunger really sucks because there's a lot of rocks here too. Rock, rock. There are rocks back there. I hit a rock on my way out of the Bear Divide picnic area. But, yeah. What are you going to do? But yeah, I really like the Akrapovich. Um, there's a motorcycle shop that I go to pretty much exclusively to get my gear unless I find it cheaper on, say, Craigslist, for instance. Um, it's called Bombay Motorsports. If you live in the valley, he's a really cool guy. His name is Bruno. Uh, there's another guy that works there, Danny. And they're, they're a cool bunch of dudes. Uh, Bruno kind of makes fun of bikes like this. He thinks they're toys. He rides, <laughs> he rides a Hayabusa. I think he rides like a Jixxer 1300 and a, and a Concourse 14 or something like that. So unless it has at least... Like 1100 or 1200 cc's, he really doesn't care for it. I mean, but he's he's had lots of experience, and you know, Danny, the other guy that works he's got a lot of know-how and experience with bikes, and they're a cool couple of dudes. And if you go when Bruno's there, he'll cut you a really good deal. I mean, my Shoei helmet was for retail. MS, for retail, it's like it was over 300 bucks. I know. And he sold it to me brand new for 260, I believe it was 250. Something really a, a big price drop. It was like 80. I basically I remember saving like 80 bucks on it. And the reason it was a display model and it had one tiny little scratch that I didn't even notice until he pointed it out to me. It was it was in the back, like right by the you know in the back where it says DOT Snell approved. It was right next to that, and I didn't even notice it. And then he's like, oh, there's a scratch back there, so I'll sell it to you for $80 cheaper than it actually cost. So I was like, oh, all right. Um, he sold me my gloves. He took, I think, 10, 10 bucks off my gloves. Uh, in terms of gear, he can cut you a good deal. In terms of if you wanted to buy oil or, or chain lube or something like that, then he can't really do much for you there, but... I mean, he, cut, he gives he gives really great prices. He's a really friendly guy. He's really honest. Um, yeah, I mean, he wants to he's, he wants to sell me a, a Yoshimura pipe for this bike. A bit cheaper than what he can't. The discount isn't awesome, but it's definitely cheaper than anywhere else. I and mean, I think I don't want to hate on the guys that work at cycle gear or anything but 
Well, cycle gear is, I don't know about in other parts of the country, but out here, cycle gear is the, the big motorcycle shop where people buy all their gear. And they're cool and everything, but I mean, they have an awesome selection in store. Bruno, his, his shop is really small. But he can get you anything, pretty much. If it's out, if it exists, he'll, he'll get it for you. Uh, Cycle, Cycle Gear is a big store, and they have a lot of stuff just sitting there, and you can pick it up that day. But they're kind of really pushy salespeople. I don't, I don't want to, and again, I don't want to hate them because I'm a salesperson. <laughs> but yeah, they're really pushy. They, they kind of don't know how to leave you alone. Sometimes, you just go in there and you're just browsing or or something like that and then uh, you know they keep, they keep bothering you I went there one time and you know, I was just browsing for for jackets because I was considering getting some kind of uh, jacket that had better airflow than the current one I have now the Alpine Star TV one and I wanted something that had a bit better airflow because I had tried on my my buddies um, what's it called? RS Tai Chi GMX GMU Motion, something like that. And that one had awesome airflow. It felt a lot better. And in the valley, it gets really hot, like consistently hot. It'll be like 120 degrees for weeks on end. You know, you won't see double-digit temperatures for a while. Not well, at least during the daytime. But yeah, so I wanted a. Uh, I wanted a jacket that had good airflow, so I went to Cycle Gear just to see what they had and see if I can try stuff on, see what fit best. And this one kid just came up to me and he's like, hi, how you doing? And I was like, hi, I'm fine, I'm just browsing. He's like, okay, we'll just sit you on this other special thing. And he left, and I was like, okay, that's cool. Then, five minutes later, the kid shows up again and he's like, he's like yeah, that's a really good jacket you got right there. And I was like, yeah, I, I'm just browsing, man. You know, just looking at it, just checking it out. He's like, okay, well, blah, 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 blah. He starts going into the details of the jacket. And I'm like, okay, that's, that's nice, but I'm really just browsing. Then he, he kind of gets the picture and he leaves. And then again, five minutes later, five minutes later, he comes back. And he's like, oh, so uh, you, you're thinking about getting maybe some pants too? I'm like, no, asshole, leave me alone. But uh, I, I don't want to start ranting, but... You know, that's, that's kind of why, I like, again, I, I, if you live in the San Fernando Valley or if you live in the L.A. area, and I honestly think he gives the best prices. I've been to that spot. I've been out to, like, Cycle, Cycle Sports West. No, no, that's not it. Uh, uh, I think it's my be Cycle Sports West. Out in Westminster, in the, in the O.C. You know, they're really cool, too. They're more chill there. Um, I like it. It's got a big selection. But they won't really cut you any deals in there. I've been to another shop, um, Cycle, Cycle something. I don't know. It's it's by Alan knows it's by where my my sister's apartment is. Oops. But uh, no, school just got out. But yeah, it's also a small shop, but they're a bit, they're very chill there. They're very helpful. And the cool thing about them is they have actually uh, an in-house shop so if you buy brakes or something like that they can they can install it there for you so that's cool um what else? but yeah bombay more it's called bombay motorsports the place that i uh <laughs> that I'm, what i'm trying to get at is uh check out bombay motorsports i'll put a their address or a link or whatever down below um in the description you can check them out. I I think you might actually have a website, and you can order from them online. So you know, and just say, hey, one of your local guys sent me. <laughs> Maybe he might cut you a deal too. But 